What's up guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Here today to bring you a discussion video on Marvin Harrison Jr. and to answer the question, is he the best wide receiver prospect since Calvin Johnson? But before we get started guys, look into my description section down below. I have two sections for you to check out. One being my social media links and the other being my Amazon affiliate links. Check those out. Let's get into the video. So, um, Marvin Harrison Jr. coming up on his last, should be his last year at Ohio State. Um, going to his true junior year, and he's a stud, as we all know. He, he's a stud, standing at 6'4", about 205, 200, somewhere in, in that range. And I've been seeing, uh, especially on, on Twitter the last couple of days, I've been seeing uh, you know, from quote-unquote NFL scouts saying that Marvin Harrison Jr. is outright the best college uh, college football wide receiver prospect since Calvin Johnson. Now, Calvin Johnson was drafted in 2007, so obviously we miss guys on Randy Moss. We, we miss out on guys like Larry Fitzgerald. We miss out on a couple other guys also. But there are two names that come to mind, and clearly you see them in, in, in my background now, beside Marvin Harrison Jr. Uh, you have Julio Jones, my favorite receiver of, all, receiver of all time, plus I'm a Falcons fan, so it definitely adds a bonus there. And you have Jamar Chase, you know, um, and most of the time I've seen people on social media, when I, when I look through the comment section, most of them said Jam Jamar Chase, right? Now, I'm going to go through all three, and I'm going uh, to give you my uh, what I have down. Uh, well, let me, let me slow it down some. Before I get there, I'm going to give you my weaknesses and strengths for all three. Now, I was on YouTube when Jamar Chase got drafted, clearly I'm on YouTube now when Marvin Harrison is about to get drafted next year. I was a kid when Julio Jones got, got drafted, so but I went back to his profile and looked. So I'm a, you know, it's kind of a cheat there because I'm, I'm remembering what my kid brain remembers. But I did go back and watch film for this video on Julio Jones. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with Jamar Chase first. So J Jamar Chase, very talented prospect out of LSU. Um, you know, me personally doing this, doing his, his draft, I had Jalen Waller rated higher than Jamar Chase. I know, I know it sounds crazy. Go ahead and tag me, call me stupid, all them, all those names in the comment section, but I really did. I truly had Jalen Waller above Jamar Chase for, for my personal liking. Uh, but he's 6'1", 200 pounds, good, strong hands. Some solid speed to him, nice strength. You know, he's he's only 200 pounds, but he plays bigger, plays stronger. Let's get into some strengths I had down. Um, so one I had smooth, subtle, and explosive. Uh, eight touchdown carries of 50 plus yards in 2019. As we all know, though, that LSU squad was ridiculous his last year there. Him, Burrow, Jefferson, all uh, Clyde Edwards, Hilaire. You know, that team was was insane so you know they put up a bunch of numbers but off you no know, i'm looking at stuff not really numbers based except for that touchdowns one there uh blistering vertical acceleration to separate from cornerbacks uh hand fighting uh distances distances himself from from coverage so he's pretty good at hand fighting you see it now today he's very good at hand fighting you know when when the ref the ref um let them play he gets some good 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 um Gets in good uh, leverage and good areas with his hands. You know, can fight off quick, get his hands up, and make a tightly contested catch on the 50-50 balls. And that's one more thing next. He was very, very good on 50-50 balls. You know, so that's the main things there. Uh, pro he pro level already at dragging his two feet in, in bounds on sideline catches, uh, turns and scrambles on situation and, and big plays on offense or or on unschemed plays, so you know everything in the book. We all know about 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 Jamar Chase. Uh, he was a stud. Now on to his weaknesses. He had a couple. Um, the, the way I see it, his route tree wasn't really all that fairly basic, which all was needed during that time, you know, and still is pretty much. He's not really the best route runner, or well, he's, he's a decent route runner, but his his route tree isn't really phenomenal. Isn't insane. But what's basic is working for him, honestly. So, you know, I will I will uh, say that about Jamar Chase. Also, his blocking. He could definitely stand to be a, a, a better blocker during that time. I think he did get a little bit better. Shows a little bit more enthusiasm, through enthusiasm blocking than what he did. But um, he need to he needed to work on that during that that time. And also, he didn't create a lot of space. As I say, I, I like a little more space being ran. 
Uh, he's athletic, but he's not as quick, not as shifty or speedy as a guy like Jaden Waddle. That's why I like Waddle a little bit more than than, than Jamar Chase. I def I, excuse me. I definitely thought there was a chance Jamar Chase could have been a bust. You know, I, I did a video on it. I think after his first uh, first preseason game, I did a video about uh, him saying, what "Was it practice or preseason?" Remember the the rumor came out or the news came out that he thought the ball was too big or something or too small for the NFL. The lines kind of like confused him. I was like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, I already like Waddle uh, over Chase." So that definitely gave me, you know, a little. A little uh, n- another nugget to attack Chase with, but end up Chase had a phenomenal r- rookie season and still had a great second year also. So I was definitely wrong there. Now let's go to my favorite guy of all time, Julio Jones, six three, two twenty, out of college, out of Alabama, a stud, <laughs> a stud man. I-, I really don't see how people think Harrison better than him, but let's talk about it. Six three, two hundred pounds, um, athletic freak. Um, explosive off the line. It needs some of his strengths I have written down. Um, ideal um, NFL size for number one guy. You know, because back back then in, in 2011, the number one guy seemed to be or needed to be normally six two and up, six three and up, big boys, tall, long, but big at the same time, more like a Calvin Johnson. You know, though they they, they not, well Calvin Calvin was too big for most likings, but six three was ideal. Number one wide receiver size during that time, and Julio was definitely that. Um, Julio also eats up cushions in, in a hurry. He can um, he can be a low in the open field, and he was a good blocker. The main weaknesses with Julio Jones, Jones, excuse me, is he he's a little hands, he's a little body catchy, you know. So he let, he let catches uh, get into his body, which is kind of played him during the NFL too. Certain moments, a, a lot of passes hit him right in the chest plate, bounced off, pick pick six stuff like that. So that definitely was a, a no, not something he really didn't get better at. Also, uh, he will also drop routine passes. That's something there as well. And one more thing, I didn't really like um, his catching in traffic across the, middle, across the middle of the field. That was something that really kind of was tough. You know, he, he made great catches, don't get me wrong, but across the middle of the field, he looked kind of kind of shaky as, as sometimes during college. So, uh, But obviously, that wasn't too bad. He did get a little bit a couple times in, in the NFL, but uh, for the most part, he wasn't scared to do those slants, do those, you know, he, he's a big boy. But... Um, yeah, the catch across the crest, the catch across the middle of the field definitely was a little concerning back then, and also the the catch in traffic combined with being across the middle of the field that could have been you know uh, a, a injury shorter. You know, because back then these guys were hitting safeties were coming down blooming booming, linebackers were coming down booming. So, uh, but I, like I said, he ended up having a long career. Obviously, he's still around now, and had some good moments last season too. So. Uh, but yeah, I, to me, <laughs> to, to me, he's the best guy since Calvin. You know, I, I don't got go. I don't have to really go to Marvin Harrison Jr. But what, but I definitely will. Uh, but yeah, I just don't. I don't see how it's even close. You know, Harrison is, is a stud. Don't get me wrong, but he has a good size on him, six four, about two oh five. But just the physicality, just the freakish athleticism that he doesn't have. You know. Harrison is good. Chase is good. Well, no, excuse me. They're both great prospects. But man, Julio was another world. I just, I just don't see how it's any, any, any d- debate, honestly. But let's get into Marvin Harrison Jr. Uh, upcoming senior, se- uh, upcoming junior season. Excuse me. Should be his last year. Let's get into some of his strengths. Uh, he's normally in catch and run situations. Normally with uh, Ohio State. We'll see this year if that changed. There is a quarterback change. No C.J. Stroud, so we'll see how that goes. But he's often um, – he has space – he normally has space to use when he catches the ball, and he uses it perfectly, hard to bring down. Uh, not overly fast, but he don't get catch from – he doesn't get catch from behind. So, you know, he's fast enough, but he's not too fast. But he's normally in, in, catch, in, in catch and run situations, which is a little bit – no pro and con, but that's more of a strength. Um, like I said, good open field, hard hard to tackle um, sometimes. Um, he's very good in contested catch situations. Use his size and long frame and long arms. Like I said, he's a true 6'4", 
pushing 6'5", 205, long arms. Uh, and also his frame has some good some good room to grow, too. He can definitely pack on some more weight, get a little stronger. And he's not weak, weak by any means, but, you know, uh, he definitely can definitely uh, pack some more weight on as he gets a little bit older throughout the years. Um, and like I said, his long arms plays bigger than what he is. You know, as he already big, big, big as he is at six four or six five, and I know he's definitely um, he can get those those overthrows, the underthrows, long guns, big hands can definitely track the ball a lot better than some of these other guys can. So that's some good moments there for him. Some strengths, some weaknesses. Don't have too many. Um, I have one weaknesses where if a defensive back is athletic. And strong, like a Sauce Gardner, like a couple of Patrick Sertan. I would love to see him versus those guys. You know, uh, it, it seems like outside of Keely Ringo, he hasn't really played anyone. And Keely Ringo went, what, third, fourth round? And I wasn't high on him either. I thought he should be moved, moved to safety. But I, I've never really seen him against a top prospect yet, or at least a, a not even top prospect, NFL caliber player yet. We haven't seen him versus Sauce. We haven't seen him versus, you know, um, we haven't seen him versus, uh, like I said, Patrick Sertan or nothing like that yet. So I want to see those matchups. I, I, I want to see him playing the big name, the 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 number one, number two, Jalen Ramsey. I want to see them playing the top corner, Jair Alexander, for a full game. You know, and I'm sure he'll win. He'll he'll win some, but I want to see how many he he actually does win. You know, because I'm curious to see how good he really is. You know, as I said. Being the Ohio State system, the receivers definitely work out. Don't get that twisted. Garrett Wilson to Olave, the, the list the list goes on. It's a long list of receivers that worked out from Ohio State. But the catch and run situations, I want to see how, how good he really is, how good their route tree really is. And that's kind of unknown in that Ohio State offense. So, um, But overall, man, he's like I said, he's one of the better ones. As I said, it's only three names that came to, or only two names that came to mind if you're challenging Marvin Harrison Jr. to, you know, if he's the best since Calvin Johnson, and only two came to mind. You know, A.J. Green was a close one, but I think Harrison got him. I think Chase has him too, and clearly I think Julio got him. But it's not too many the name coming out of college, you know, uh, not too many highly touted beast modes like, like those guys, you know, um, DK Metcalf is athletic freak, but he wasn't on that level. You know, he wasn't on that on that stratosphere. He's just a big body freakish dude. You know, so but guys who were freakish or guys who lived up to the hype and li- or lived up, or I take it back, lived lived up um, to their play in in college and the hype they came in from high school. All three guys definitely panned out and uh, definitely were were those guys in high school coming to the league. And they're probably the three most anticipated guys. Um, as I said, I like Waddle over Chase, but I still fit. You know, I still knew Chase was a monster. They'll get it twisted. I just thought, you know, maybe the separation, maybe just a hot year for the whole team. But you know, he's still with the same quarterback, so I could be right. <laughs> just joking, but you know, uh, I definitely think there is there is, there was a small shot back then. I thought Chase could have been slight a slight bust, a slight overhyped player. But he's definitely not. He definitely lit up, lit up to the hype. He definitely is a monstrous player. So, um, but that's it for the video, guys. Uh, answer the question. Julio Jones to me is the is the number two guy after Calvin Johnson. And I used to have debates when I was kids about who was better. Well, when I was kids, when I was a kid, I had debates about who was better, Calvin or Julio. But I think it's definitely Calvin. Uh, Calvin was a different level. Julio was close though. But Calvin was a different level. But that's it for the video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.